Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to be testing out a bunch of new makeup. We have the Sigma New Mod Collection. We also have some products from the brand Little Ondine, which is a Chinese beauty brand. I also have CosRx in here and just a bunch of little other brands. But the two main things is Sigma and Little Ondine. So this is the final look, a little sneak peek. Overall, really loved everything. So this video was a good one, not many fails. So if you guys want to see this look and me testing out some new makeup then please continue watching. So I'm going to try a new style of contacts today. These are from O Lens in the style Mood Night Brown. These are the lenses that Blackpink actually wear and they actually do wear it. They're just not like the models for O Lens. So Jisoo this year is wearing Mood Night Brown. So pretty much every year they have like a different lens they wear. That's like their signature one. So this year this is Jisoo's and it's a brand new style from O Lens. I wanted to try this out. I don't think I'm going to like love it. It's not going to be my go-to I don't think because judging by the diameter is probably going to be a little bit enlarging which is not my favorite but I do just want to give this a try. So this is what it looks like in the packaging and I do have a discount code with Orlands. It is just my name Judy for 10% off. That's what it looks like on one eye. You can see such a big difference in how enlarging this lens is. So I do have a new foundation that I want to try and it is a cushion foundation. It's from CosRx. It's their Propolis Ampule Cushion. It has SPF 47 PA++ and I have mine in the shade natural beige and I've actually used this once but I wanted to obviously use it again to really get my strong opinion on it this is the puff the puff is really really nice and the shade it's actually not too bad like there's only two shades which I know sounds crazy but for cushion foundation sad reality it's almost like normal but the shade on me is just okay um, and I've used this once like I mentioned and I liked it so I thought I would test it out again so I'm gonna do one side with the puff and then I'm just gonna focus it at the center first and I just really love the glow that it gives to my skin so this will be my second time using it I wanted to use it on camera with you guys and the coverage I would say is like light to medium you could build it up but I feel like most cushions are not gonna be full coverage but I think this does have decent coverage to it I'm just always so excited to try cushion foundations because there's not many that I can try just because a lot of the Korean beauty brands are not cruelty free um, so it's great when like a skincare brand comes out with a cushion foundation that I can try because a lot of Korean skincare is cruelty free but when it comes to makeup it's a little bit hard to really figure that out. So I did this side with just the cushion and you can see my skin just looks evened out. I feel like my skin looks brighter. I will say it's a little bit light for me but it's okay. I don't mind it. I think I can get away with it and I can definitely see this being like one of my go-to cushion foundations. Like it just feels and it looks really really great. Like amazing. And I also love this puff. But then on this side I'm gonna try the cushion foundation with a brush. So this one's from Sigma. I'm not sure if it's like a new brush but it came with their new mod collection which we will be testing out today. So this is one of the five brushes. It has rose gold hardware with the glitter on the end and the pink handle. So this is the F47 Multitasker. It's on a bit of an angle which is nice so I'm just gonna dip it in here. So if you watch Hung Fan Goes, okay a brush a brush really picks up a lot but like I was saying um, Hung did Michelle Phan's makeup on his channel and he used a brush for um, the daydream cushion which I've actually never used a brush for my cushion I've always used like a sponge or just the cushion puff but you could see how much product a brush picks up this brush is really nice though like this brush feels really great but hmm I do prefer the cushion side. I feel like the cushion side, it just looks more like my skin and hair does look a little bit heavier. Maybe because the brush just picked up so much of the product. So I think I do prefer this cushion with the puff. I think every formula is going to be different with application, but I think for this I prefer the puff. So I'll just zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see my skin a little bit up close. Um, this is just the cushion on its own. I don't have any concealer on. 
I think it looks pretty great. Yeah, I think I would say the coverage is more like medium. And next up, I have this little cutie product. It's from Too Faced. It's their Prime and Poreless Pore Blurring and Mattifying Powder. It is just a little translucent powder, but I really did get it for the heart shaped puff, which I'm not going to use today. I think this would be more for going out, but I'm going to use this to set my face. So I'm just going to blend out my creasing a little bit and I'm just going to take it on a brush. This is my first time using it, so I'm just going to tap that in underneath my eyes. So it definitely does mattify. I'm not sure about pore blurring. I feel like I've tried other powders that are definitely more pore filling and mattifying. This just, this is just okay. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it exactly. So we are going to be testing out some products from the brand Little Odin and this is a Chinese beauty brand and the first product I have here is their double head eyebrow pencil in the shade number four. It feels so luxe like it's heavy for an eyebrow pencil and it has a spoolie on one end and on the other end it's more of like a flat shaped eyebrow pencil. So I'm gonna use this just to create the base of my brow shape just like I normally do with my eyebrow pencil. It's not too waxy. It almost feels like a brow powder in a pencil format. And I really love that flat shape that it has because you can be super, super precise with it. And the color is actually quite nice. I did dye my hair like pitch black yesterday, so it's probably not the best match, but actually I don't think it's too bad. Um, but yeah, I really like this. This might be my go-to brow pencil from now because I just love how it's not waxy compared to like Western eyebrow pencils where it's super waxy. So that's all I'm going to do on camera. I'm going to perfect it off camera because I feel like every time I do my brows on camera, I always mess it up. So I'm just going to quickly hop off, do the eye look as well, and then we can come back. So the brows are on, one eye look is done. I just want to say that this brow pencil from Little Ondin or Odin is amazing. This might be my new go-to brow pencil because I just love how my brows turned out. Love the shape of it. The only thing is the color is a little bit too light for my freshly pitch black hair, but I love the formula. I love how my brows turned out and I can't say that very often. So all thanks to this brow pencil. I'm really, really impressed by this, but let's move on to the eye look we have here. So I will be using the Sigma Beauty New Mod palette. That is pretty much all these shadows there. So let's hop into the eye look. I'm starting off with my eye primer. This one is from Ace Beauty. It is like a, kind of like a dupe for the P. Louise base, but I just love how it covers up my lid space and it's a lighter shade, so it really brightens up my eye look. So first in the palette, I'm going into this shade here called New Mod, and I'm using one of the new brushes that came with the collection. This is the E24, and I'm just going to sweep that all over my lid first, and then slowly blend that up into my crease. And you guys, literally first swipe of this shadow, I'm so impressed by Sigma's formula. Like, I know Kelly Gooch loves Sigma palettes, but... It's just so good guys. It feels like there's silicone in this formula or something because the way it feels is just super super smooth. Like that is the best way to describe it. There is the pigment there and it's so easy to blend out because it just feels so soft and smooth. So this brush here is the one that comes in the palette. So it's the E38 and E54 which is really nice. Like it matches the separate brushes. I'm just using that to blend out the outer edges. But yeah guys, like I'm just so impressed by this formula. So I'm also going to take that onto my lower lash line as well. And I'm going to go into this shade here called Vogish, taking another one of their new brushes. This is the E49. It's a nice little tapered blending brush. So I'm just going to focus that at the outer corners of my eyes here just to start deepening out this outer region. I'm just doing my go-to technique with the shades that really speak to me. I think with this palette, you definitely can do something a little bit more neutral. You don't have to go so like burgundy and plum. I don't know why on this eye the shadow is looking patchy when on this eye it was fine. I think maybe I didn't put enough primer at the outer corner. 
So that could just be my fault. So you just have to excuse that little patchy part. It is bothering me a lot. I'm gonna take that same shade onto my lower lash line here. Now I'm going into the shade here called Street Style. And again, I'm just gonna focus that at the outer corner to start blending up. This shade is more of like a plum brown and it's just a little bit darker. So we're just gonna focus this here. Again, I think it's just looking a little bit patchy here just cause of my eye primer. I don't think I took it as far out as I thought I did, so. That is on me, I'm so sorry. Now for the star of the show, I'm taking this shade called Avant Garde, and guys, I was not expecting a lot from this shadow. I was just thinking that it was going to be just a solid metallic, but when I put this on, it blew my mind how reflective and how many micro glitters are in this shadow. It's so, so pretty. It's a duochrome shadow with like lots of micro glitters that, I don't know, I was just expecting something like more like metallic and foiled and one dimensional, but this has so much dimension. It is so, so pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade down here called Hot. And this is going to be our inner corner highlight. This one doesn't have as much like little sparkles and dimensional as the avant-garde shade. Going back into the brand Little On Dine, that's what I'm gonna call it, On Dine, On Dine. Um, this is one of their liquid eyeliners. It's in number four and it's a burgundy color and I thought it would just match perfectly with this look. It is a brush tip liner. It's pretty flexible, the brush tip but it is super smooth, a nice purple shade. So just creating my wing with this eyeliner. If you were to wear this eyeliner on an eye look that's not as dark and dramatic as this, you could definitely see it more clear. And just going back into the new mod palette, taking Street Style on one of their new brushes as well. This one is the E65. Been loving this brush. I'm just gonna use this shade to smoke out this wing. And then again from a little on dine, I have their colored mascara in number three. It is pretty much the matching mascara to that liquid liner. I'm gonna apply this to my lower lashes. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but I really do like it. I think it matches this look perfectly, and I think if you are up close to me, you could definitely see it better. Now back onto the face, I have another product from Little On Dine. So this is their Sculpt and Contour Highlight Palette, and the packaging is insane. So when you open it up, you get four different shadows, and it's in the shape of like a nose, an eye, an ear, and the mouth, so like parts of the face, which is really cool. So I'm gonna take this shade in the corner called Response, which is the darker contour and I'm just gonna lightly use that to contour around my face just because I don't really use much bronzer these days. It seems like a very lightweight formula like it's not so pigmented off the bat. Yeah so just a light contour will be fine for me. And the palette actually comes with this little brush so I'm gonna use it for the nose contour so the one that has a nose on it. And I just like to go down the sides of my nose. I don't really do too much, but it seems like the shade is pretty good. It's a really nice, light, cool tone color. So it's pretty good for nose contour. I'm gonna try this pink one. Um, this one's called Gaze. I'm gonna try this underneath my eyes. A lot of people have been using like pink um, setting powder under their eyes for brightening. So this. I feel like didn't really do anything. <laughs> that did not change anything at all. And then I have these two cutie little blushes to choose from, again, from Little On Dine. So they look like little cheese, and the packaging slides out like this. It's so cute. One's a bit lighter, one's a bit darker, and they actually stick together like a little pizza, which is cute. I don't know which one to pick. Mmm... I'll go with the darker one. I will be using the last new Sigma brush from the new mod collection. This is the F10. 
And we're just gonna take a bit of this pink cheese blush. Doesn't look like there's much coming out though. Really gotta... Hmm. This is like... I don't know, do I gotta scratch off the top to get pigment? Like, I see something. There is a little bit. Okay. This color is really nice. It's just these powders are so light. Like, they don't really show up on the skin as much. Like, I would like a little bit of pigment. I know, like, it's great to be a little bit more natural, but... A little bit more pigment would be good. However... It's good for me because I am pretty heavy-handed. I'm really going in, guys. This is probably the most buildable blush I have ever used. Yeah, it's cute, but I don't really like this kind of formula where I have to build it up this much. We're gonna go back into that contour palette and take the highlighting shade. This is called Renaissance. And then I'm just gonna take it here. Oh, okay, this is giving me like 2017 highlight. This one does have pigment, so you don't need too much of this one. Um, but it's really pretty. Um, it's a very like satin kind of metallic. I'll just take that onto my nose as well. And then lastly for lips, I have these two products from Sigma. Again, this was from the New Mod collection. So I have the liquid lipstick. This is in the shade New Mod. And the uh, lip gloss is in the shade Passionate. I don't know if I'm going to put the gloss on because it looks very metallic, but let's try on the liquid lip. So I have tried Sigma's liquid lipstick formula a very, very long time ago. It wasn't even in this packaging and I remember really liking it. So let's see. Oh, this shade is really pretty. I don't think it's like my favorite formula off the bat, but I definitely will have to try this more to, to get an idea of the formula. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And then maybe I'll just try the gloss since we're here, since this video is trying new makeup. So this is the gloss. This packaging gives me a lot of like old school vibes. Oh, and the applicator is a brush tip, which is a little bit flimsy because it's so long. Okay guys, so here is the final look using a bunch of new makeup. Overall, love how the look turned out. I think I have found some new products that are going to be my staples now. I think overall, my favorite products would have to be definitely from the Sigma New Mod Collection, which by the way, it does come in this pouch and it fits everything in here. The palette, the lip products, the brushes, all fits in this beautiful, beautiful pouch. My favorite item would have to be the palette. I think the palette was just a standout definitely need to use that more and then also loved a lot of the products from Little Ondine I don't know why I want to say Odine but like when you read it it's Ondine Ondine so Little Ondine I really really love the brow pencil especially something about this I just am a big fan and I definitely want to get a darker shade because I just love how my brows look today, which I don't, again, say very often, so love that. Also, I love the liquid liner. The mascara was really great, too, so everything was really, really great. If I had to pick my disappointing products from today's video, I would have to go with the blush because you guys saw how hard it was just to get any pigment out of it. So for some people, you might like that when it's really, really buildable, but I think it was a little bit too, too sheer. I mean, the overall outcome is pretty, so it's not bad formula. It's just a little too sheer a little too buildable so not my favorite and then also for the Too Faced powder personally think this will work better as a touch-up powder rather than a setting powder and also the poor blurring aspect it wasn't really so strong because I have tried other powders that do a much better job than this so that was a little disappointing and then lastly I would have to say just the lenses that I used today I knew I wasn't going to like this off the bat like this is not a style that I typically wear I tend to wear lenses they're a little bit more natural looking not so enlarging i just wanted to test them out so now i know now i know what they look like on my eyes um so just yeah these three products like they're not bad they all worked out in the end but yeah those were kind of just my overall thoughts on the products we used today i would love to know your thoughts though down below if you guys have tried anything from today's video i would love to know your thoughts down below if you like them dislike them agree or disagree i would love to know so leave your comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you so much and i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye